Yo, 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 what's up? How you feel? How you living? May God bless you. This is another episode of New Air Boxing and Best TV. Like, subscribe, leave a comment for feedback. What's up, y'all? We just had Javante Tank Davis, the face of boxing, respond to the Saudi Arabia leaders, letting it be known if you want to make negotiations with them, you need to provide two Ferraris at his door or something of that sort. Being as though the Saudi Arabia leaders and their family is worth a estimated trillions of dollars, it shouldn't be no problem for them to get two Ferraris to Javante Tank Davis' door to start negotiations. Now, I've been looking online. I've been seeing a lot of man fans and fanboys getting mad of how Javante Tank Davis is negotiating his boxing deals and the structures of his con his contract. Well, what I gotta say to them fanboys and them man fans, listen, brother, if you charging your subscribers and your fans money to talk to you, to give their opinions about boxing, you shouldn't have a problem with Javante Tank Davis letting it be known how he want his business to be handled with his negotiations. I don't get it, man. It's like, it's a two-side street. These guys argue one one side, and then they go create a whole nother narrative to go against that. And it's crazy because these same fans will tell you you're a Javante Tank Davis fan. You, why are you counting this pocket? You getting paid any of that? The same fans that were saying that is now counting Javante Tank Davis pockets, telling him how much he should negotiate and what he should not negotiate. I can tell them fans right now, y'all can kiss ass, man. Because Javante Tank Davis... He don't give a damn what y'all got to say. And he he probably never come to y'all platforms for interviews. And I know that's the main reason some of these content creators is really upset. I know it's painful to hurt. I know it's painful and it hurt that Javante Tank Davis haven't give y'all an interview or shouted y'all out yet. But it's going to be okay. I wish your platform the best. But from the looks of it, man, these guys is just creating narrative to try to tear down Javante Tank Davis' character. And right now, Javante Tank Davis is in the driving seat. And he and he gonna drive wherever the fuck he want, man. He don't need no chauffeurs telling him what to do. Telling them how to move or none of that shit, bro. That ain't the way, bro. Just like Floyd Money Mayweather. When he came up with the TMT team, he started making the most money he ever made in his life. He started making crazy demands. He started doing the contracts how he wanted his contract structured. This is the same thing you saying from Javante Tank Davis. He, he just made the most money he ever made in his boxing career. And now he's in the driving seat to do what he want. It's, it's your eyes, your TV. You don't have to watch him. You don't have to turn your channel to Javante Tank Davis fight. You don't even have to talk about him. But, but just because he's so much of a public demand... Y'all got to talk about them. And it's going to hurt that most of your fans is going to let you know that you talking bullshit, man. And I know it's going to upset you. You're going to yell at your fans and tell them they wrong. And y'all, your subscribers, 
you gonna tell them they wrong, but guess what? There's a wrong and there's a right. And Javante Tank Davis has the right to negotiate his deals the way he want them. And with that being said, I'm going to wrap this up right here on New York Boxing and Best TV. It's your boy, Thug and D. Like, subscribe, leave a comment for feedback. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop the show. What's up, nigga? You got a problem with Tank Davis, nigga?